Welcome to Catholic Mom Mindset, a daily show where you learn to walk closely with the Holy Spirit so you can live the life God is calling you to. I'm your host, Sterling Jaquith. Let us begin. All right, this is for moms who have kind of tweens or teens and maybe even young adult children, right? But I want to talk about what we do, what you can do when they hurt your feelings. So the first thing I want to let you know is that no one hurts your feelings. What happens is a person in your life says words and then you have a thought about those words and your thought creates a negative feeling in your body. Okay. So if your teenage daughter says, you work all the time, you don't spend any time with me. You don't even care about me. You just care about hanging out with your own friends. You and dad do all the fun stuff. You don't even want me with you. I know you don't really like me. I'm, I'm the difficult one to love, aren't I? Right? The older they get, the more clever they are. They're really good at saying words that trigger us. Okay? They're just saying words. But then you have a thought about them. And your thought will create this like feeling of like anger or shame or embarrassment or, I mean, it's really a bunch of feelings because you're usually kind of aghast that this kiddo would even say something like that. And then really hurt that they think that and you feel like a failure as a mom on two levels, right? Whatever they actually said about you and that you've created a kid that says this to you. And then usually we jump to, and now I'm not going to have a good relationship with this kiddo. So those feelings come swirling in very quickly. And we have a lot of thoughts that give us a lot of feelings and they feel terrible. (laughs) And then I'll tell you when you're not in a lot of control of yourself, you're going to snap back at that kid and say something really probably mean and sharp and shameful. Because you're just defending yourself. You're just having a fear response. And then you're lashing out and you will just, oh, you'll just cringe inside after the words out of your mouth. And you're like, oh, you'll know that you shouldn't have said that. Well, let me tell you what you can do instead. Okay. One, when your kiddo says something, you just go, whew, that kiddo just said those words, didn't she? In your mind, in your mind, you're just like, oh, that kiddo said some words, didn't she? That's the fact. The fact is your kid said some words to you then you get to decide what you want to think about that. Now, for me, this is actually, um, it's pretty easy for me to turn around. It still flares up instantly when one of my kids says something, I'll just put in air quotes, sharp or insulting. And that, you know, I still have like an initial reaction, but it's easy for me to kind of move on because I was a really cutting teenager. I was very sure that I was smarter than my mom and I said very cruel and mean things. And now I just know what I think about her now, right? And I love her so much and we have a good relationship. And so I just know that I was just young and immature and selfish and self-centered, like from 15 to 25. And because I know it didn't ultimately affect our relationship, I mean, maybe for her it did because I'm sure I did hurt her feelings. And again, did I hurt her feelings? No, I said words and she had thoughts about them that were hurtful to her. Okay. But, and in my house, I teach my kids this, but I don't say that that means you're not responsible for what you say. As Catholics, we believe that we should speak charitably to people. Right. And so that's on, on us. So I don't go around being like, well, it's not my fault that I said this thing and your feelings got hurt, right? It's my job to speak charitably to people, but I do know that I don't get to control what people think about the words that I say. And so when one of my kids, um, and it's really just new, kind of new with the, the preteen, I hear her, what she says and I get calm in my body and I try to act from curiosity. Tell me more about that. How does that make you feel? When did that come up for you? When were you thinking that? How do you wish it was instead? 
And when I go in with softness and when I go in with curiosity, we connect on such a deeper level. And oftentimes she will reveal to me what she's really upset about, which isn't usually the thing that she presented with. And I can see in her eyes that she's noticing like, oh, I kind of threw this barb. I thought I'd get a reaction on mom. I didn't. And she's just hanging with me. She wants to know what I think. I don't really know what she's thinking, but I, I watched the, the, her face change from being kind of sharp to softer. And I think she feels loved and seen. I don't always get it right. Sometimes if she catches me at the wrong time, I'll just sling it right back at her. Now, I will say, if I catch myself doing that, I try to immediately apologize. And I'll go, whew, I am sorry. I should not have spoken to you like that. I shouldn't have said that whatever version it is. And so, yeah, the kids are going to say words and your brain is going to be like, whoa, that is terrible. And you just get to talk your brain off the ledge and be like, hey, brain, kids say things. Doesn't mean anything about our relationship in the future. Let's reach out to this kid with curiosity and compassion. What's going on with that kid that they said that? Maybe it is a little bit true for them. Maybe there's some work for me. But this will save you so much heartache in the tween and teen years. And really, it, it's some version of saying, don't take it personally. That feels like a brush off. Like I wouldn't meet you and be like, don't take it personally. And they're just a teenager. I would slow it down and say, you know what? Kids have big emotions and they lash out from those big emotions. And then you get to choose whether you want to believe what they said. If you don't believe it, don't let it hurt your feeling. Come in with curiosity on that kid. Connect with them. You're going to have a good relationship with her as an adult. Okay, I hope that's helpful for you guys who are dealing with that right now. Thank you so much for listening and have a blessed day. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Catholic Mom Mindset. To learn more about growing closer to the Holy Spirit, check out our free resources at madeforgreatness.co. Thank you so much for listening and have a blessed day.